Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Friday the 18th of February comes to you from London. Uh, and the big news in the UK this morning is the storm that we're enduring. Uh, so we're seeing um, the uh, markets looking pretty mixed um, as we head to the close of the week. Uh, we had big falls on Wall Street last night, so that is um, uh, affecting sentiment quite a bit. Uh, so we look at the uh, dollar index first of all, uh, and here we see that we are uh, on the medium term, so the long term, medium term, and short term view of the market. We are just falling away a little bit at the end of the week, so short term bearish, but medium and long term still very bullish, and that means the euro is looking a little bit stronger against that dollar. Sterling sitting at one thirty six twenty six holding. Holding the gains the week, uh, interest rates uh, expected to be raised in the UK now um, pretty much every month, I would say, looking at the outlook. So uh, quite interesting that we're seeing that. St uh, against the euro, we're just below that uh, 120 level for sterling, but sterling is generally trending up over the medium and longer term. Bitcoin sitting at $40,800 fell away uh, yesterday, so we are just seeing a bit of a deterioration there. Uh, a lot of assets falling yesterday. We saw the S&P 500 index down 2%. And of course, if we go lower than the previous low, we activate the downside target. Don't be surprised to see that happen. We've already got a downside target of 8% lower on the short term chart. So it does suggest markets are going some 20% lower from here. Um, that's just what the charts say. Looking at the futures, we're seeing the um, and they are up this morning. Of course, after a bad day yesterday, we we shouldn't be surprised to see a bit of a bounce, up half a percent roughly. And the VIX volatility sitting in the mid-20s. The fear index, basically the rule for the fear index is if we're above 20, uh, we are in the sort of fear zone. Above 30, we're very fearful. So um, that's something to watch. Looking at the um, European markets, we've got the DAX up 0.2%. That 15,000 level is absolutely critical. We need to hold that. Uh, Japan was down uh, and the Hang Seng was down really sharply, down 1.9%. So uh, still having looked very weak over the last year. Uh, the Sensex in India was down slightly and the Aussie market was down 1%. We'll look at the energy mix in a minute. Just looking at some of the soft commodities, we've got sugar up very slightly. Uh, has been in decline over recent months, but still long-term bullish with upside targets. Wheat, uh, we are seeing a little bit of a pullback, but again, we've got good long upside targets. Gold had a real surge yesterday. Uh, really, just you can see that in the daily candle there, really pushing higher, making multi-month highs. That's good news for gold bulls, of course. And we've got upside targets. Long term, we've been bullish gold for some time. We've just needed to hold that 1800 level. And we did just nudge above 1900 yesterday. So that's looking very strong indeed. We've got silver up half a percent this morning. Again, looking very ripe for a breakout. In 2020, we really ran. Uh, if we break that 30 level, uh, silver will go much, much higher. Uh, US 10 year yield sitting uh, back below the 2% level, just waiting to activate this uh, upside target into the 260s. We may, we may see that happen next week. Looking at the energy mix now, we've got uh, Brent crude down 1%. We were bearish crude this morning. It was these downside targets that were really pushing us to do that. Uh, we, we were neutral US nat gas because we have mixed targets there. Uh, when we put out the call for the day, of course, that's that's what leads us, what, what are we seeing on the charts? Uh, and then looking at emissions, we're actually up this morning on emissions. We fell away yesterday. We said here yes, we need to watch this uh, level around 85.50, 85.80 it is in fact. So we just need to watch that hold. But we are short term bearish on emissions because we're below the cloud. Long term still very bullish, but the short term picture has turned bearish. US gas, all those on US gas, we're down 2% this morning. We were neutral. There's so much uncertainty about gas at the moment that we just felt it was neutral close out the week. The news flow out of Russia, of course, is really critical here. We're seeing MBP down 2% as well. German power is up, but uh, this 135 level is really critical and we are we do have very strong support there but we are below the cloud it does look like it will break we've got downside targets um, and again we were um, bearish there this morning because we are below the cloud that's it for today until Monday happy charting have a great weekend stay safe batten down the hatches see you on Monday bye for now